Hello and welcome to The Elder Project, and for those who celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a wonderful holiday. This week we will be going back to the Great Tundra to start decorating this cave located right beside Lake Gladio. This cave will be inspired by no other than the caves in Lascaux, so I hope you look forward to some cave paintings. So without further ado, let's begin. So to start things off, I began with clearing away the water located at the cave entrance since I wanted to decorate the floor of the cave basin as well. I also made a miniature waterfall and a small path leading into the cave. I then started placing sea lantern blocks for temporary lighting and will be taking them out once I finish building the area. Now it was at this point when I realized that maybe it would have been a better idea if I started this project after the release of the Caves and Cliffs update, but ah, it's fine. We'll upgrade this cave when the update comes. For now, we'll use the blocks we have at hand to do our best. So for the dripstones, I used stone blocks and stone walls, and for the cave textures, I used a mixture of stone, cyan terracotta, gravel, and dead fire coral blocks. I also made a lot of pillars which help sustain the roof of the cave from collapsing. This cave was larger than I imagined, it stretched different regions of the Great Tundra, and I spent a lot of time uncovering new routes and thinking of ways of how I could reshape the environment. I enjoyed finding new chambers and seeing what cool designs I could hide to surprise people who have the audacity of exploring this dark cave. For example, right beside the cave entrance there is another vertically stretched cave with a small chamber located at the very end. I thought it would be cool if a little parkour is required for players to reach the chamber. However, if you were to slip, you'd unfortunately fall into an abyss of darkness where most players will meet another end. Get it? Get, do you see what I did with end? Two di no. Uh -huh. However, if you do complete the parkour, you are rightfully rewarded with a room filled with shining crystals lighting up the cave walls reminiscent of the constellations that decorate the night sky. After having some fun with the constellation chamber, I began refining the main cave. This meant making the walls look more fluid and natural instead of it looking like a cluster of Minecraft blocks. I also thought that perhaps decorating the cave with blue crystals might add something to the fancity, fancity? <laughs> fantasy aspect of the build, but you'll see what I'll do with that later. I focused a lot on how players could use this environment. Would they use it to acquire rare crystals or fight challenging creatures? I wanted players to have fun and at the same time feel a little thrill when exploring this cave. And finally, we have the chamber located in the very back of the cave, which will contain all the prehistoric cave paintings. Now, there is a reason why I decided to locate them at the very back of the cave, and that is because many archaeologists believe that the deeper and harder it is to get to the cave paintings, the more value and importance it had to the prehistoric people, especially in terms of spirituality and shamanism. Which is, I guess, strange because the Hall of Bulls, one of the most renowned cave paintings in the modern era, is located right near the entrance. However, that may be because the Hall of Bulls was used for more local or domestic purposes rather than for ritual purposes. However, this does bring up an important point concerning cave paintings, and that is that no one really knows what the definite purpose of cave paintings are yet. This, of course, includes the shamanism concept I mentioned earlier, as well as other theories including the belief that these cave paintings may have been used to communicate communicate amongst other cavemen, or that they were perhaps an early attempt to tell stories. And since we started talking about the cave paintings in Lascaux, I might as well just continue explaining this gorgeous World Heritage Site. And yes, it is a World Heritage Site inscribed in the year 1979. However, the famous Lascaux Cave containing the Hall of Bulls is merely one of the 15 prehistoric sites inscribed within this World Heritage Site. Hence, the site is officially named by UNESCO the Prehistoric Sites and Decorated Caves of the Vizier Valley. 
The Vizier Valley contains 25 decorated caves with an addition of 147 prehistoric sites dating back to the Paleolithic era. Each site helps demonstrate how the Paleolithic life may have been through the numerous cave arts left there as well as the remains of funerary places and workshops. However, for video purposes, we're going to be focusing on this magnificent cave painting we mentioned earlier. Now let's talk about the things we do know. We do know that these cavemen use charcoal and ochre as materials to draw out these huge depiction of mammals. We see images of horses, deers, and bison, which are all animals native to this area of France. From an artist's perspective, we see that the line works used when depicting these animals are rather abstract. We also see twisted perspective come into play. For example, in the bull, where the whole body is depicted in profile while the horns are facing frontally. This technique can be found in a lot of other artworks, such as in ancient Egyptian art, as well as in contemporary paintings. The Lascaux Cave was discovered in 1940 by an 18 years old Marcel Ravidat when his dog, Robot, walked into a certain cave. So I guess the dog discovered it? Anyways, the next day, Ravidat returned with three of his friends to explore this hole. Inside, they'll discover one of the most magnificent examples of prehistoric art ever made on the surface of this planet. After World War II, the site was protected under the French government and was open to the public in 1948. Due to the damage caused by tourists bringing in heat, humidity, and microbes, a replica of the site was made in 1983 called Lasco II, which has remained open since. Another thing I love about these cave paintings are the colors being used. Some are from raw materials, while a lot of it is from the natural color of the cave wall itself. This was something I wanted to implement into my cave painting as well, so I used a mixture of stripped oak and birch wood to create this rich beige color. Additionally, I use other types of stripped wood to depict the bowls as well. While I thought it might have been a cool idea to add silhouettes of giant spiders and wolves, I decided to ultimately keep the bull motif throughout the painting. Instead of making the narrative be about a bunch of mythical creatures destroying the land, I decided to focus this painting on Bahua, the guardian deity of the great tundra. So after decorating the cave walls, I added a few glowstones to light up parts of the painting, just like how the cave paintings are lit in real life. I also made multiple shallow streams coming together at the end where it pours into the cave next door. Finally, I thought that decorating this stream with colorful crystals would have been a cool addition to this cave, but decided to leave that out for a future video, perhaps for when the Caves and Cliffs update comes out. One last note before we finish today's video, while there are many inspiring stories born in the Caves of Lascaux, my favorite is of when the great Spanish artist Pablo Picasso visited this site in 1948 and remarked, we have invented nothing. So with that said, let's go to the cinematic. So that is pretty much it for today's video y'all, I hope you enjoyed it. Lost Ghost sounds like a beautiful place and is definitely marked on the places I have to visit once this flippin' pandemic is over. So next video, I think I'll be trying something new with my mini project series where you the viewers can simply watch me build things without me spinning random facts at you every 5 seconds. So we'll see how that goes. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye